Hey guys, it's Decker and here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to remove the background noise from your video so that way you can remove the wind, cars driving by, or even music in the background that might be negatively affecting your video. This will, of course, not impact your actual audio so that way you still sound good with your vocals. So, yeah, just kind of give you a general idea. Here's some footage. Hey guys, this is Jimmy here. Welcome back to another Apex Legends reaction video. Now, that's me on vacation with all the wind and stuff in the background, which sounds pretty bad. And here's when I use this tool that actually fix it. Hey guys, this is Jimmy here. Welcome back to another Apex Legends reaction video. You can just tell from that alone, that is pretty insane. So I wanna show you guys the whole process on how to do this. First of all, I'm gonna have something linked down below, which is DaVinci Resolve, because what you're gonna do is go into DaVinci Solve, extract the audio from your actual footage. So that way we can use the free tool to fix the audio. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're gonna need to do is download DaVinci Resolve. And of course I will have it linked down below. And what you wanna do is download the free version for Windows, of course, and or whatever system you're using and just fill out this information. Once you've done that, you'll be able to download the zip file for this. Once you download it, what you want to do is go into your file explorer, go under your downloads, and in your downloads, you just want to extract the Win uh, DaVinci Resolve file. And once you extract it and all this jazz and get access to this file, once you extract the file, all you want to do is open up the DaVinci Resolve, open up this application, and then you just want to extract it and install it. Once you install DaVinci Resolve, what you want to do is just look it up on your taskbar and open it on up. Now, once you open up DaVinci Resolve, what you wanna do is click on new project. You don't have to call this anything fancy. And we're just gonna create this. And once it's created, you wanna click on the edit tab because then it'll put you on the video editor. So we're gonna click on that. Then what we wanna do is find the video we wanna actually fix our audio for. So you can see this clip here I have. And what we're gonna drag this to is the media pool. So once you do that, it's gonna say don't change. And once you sit don't change, what you wanna do now is take that media we just pulled and put that into the timeline. Once it's in the timeline, what you wanna do now is go under deliver. Cause what we're gonna do is only extract out the audio from this and deliver it. So we're gonna go here, top bar, scroll all the way over until we see audio only. We wanna click this. Then we also wanna make sure the export is only on audio and make sure it's a WAV format cause that's what we're gonna use to actually fix up the audio and the other software we're gonna use. And all you have to do is click on add to render queue, then click, uh, then add name it, whatever you want. So I'm gonna say audio test. And we're just gonna place it here. Then what we wanna do is click render all. So this is only gonna render out the audio as a WAV format. So now that the audio is all rendered out, all we have to do is refresh where we export it to and you should see it on your timeline. So you see audio test, which is the audio we had earlier. And what we're gonna do now is go to the next tool to actually fix this audio that's pretty bad. So what we're gonna use is clean voice AI. Of course, I will have this link down below and we wanna just open this on up. And what we wanna do is go under login. And then once we are in login, we wanna click sign up and you can just name this whatever email you have access to and that way we have access to it. Once you sign in, of course, you have access to this tool now. You are gonna get 30 minutes for free. So as long as you're just doing something quick for a video, you have access to this. Now keep in mind too, that if you create multiple Gmails, you can use this multiple times over for free. So that's just something to keep in mind and making a Gmail is pretty easy. I'm not gonna throw the process for that. But of course, gonna get access to this right off the rip. What we wanna do is go under single track. We're gonna go to custom. And of course, you can see you have a lot of options for what you can do if you wanna mess with audio. So you can remove the background noise. You can make remove dead long air spaces mouth, like clicks, tongue clicks, live all, all that jazz, and so much more. And there's also audio transcripts. Like this tool is freaking insane. That's all you really need to know. But the thing what we're looking for is just a background removal tool. And so we're gonna click on this. And then what we're gonna do is find the audio that we actually made earlier. So audio test, and we wanna just start opening this on up. And what it's gonna do is upload the audio. Then it's gonna fix the audio based on the things that we listed, which was just background removal. So you can see right there, just upload the audio. So what it's gonna do next is process this information and say, okay, I'm gonna use this to actually fix the audio and see what's wrong with it. And it's gonna allow us to download it right after. So that's gonna take a second. So just get your coffee, take a sip, you know what I'm saying? Now, once it's rendered out, you'll see you'll be able to download the audio. So we're gonna just download this like so. Now that you download your new audio that's fixed, all we have to do if we wanna actually use this in DaVinci Resolve is go back under the edit tab. And if you wanna edit in here, all you have to do is click on your audio track that's in here. You wanna click on the clips and click on unlink. Now what it's gonna do when it unlinks, it's gonna link the audio. We click on that track individually, then right click on it by itself and cut the audio out. So now the clip has no audio on it. And now if we were to actually go into our folder, drag download that audio we just downloaded and made it better and place it into our timeline, you'll now be able to use the enhanced audio, which is of course, a fixed version of it, which is significantly better compared to what we had originally. And I'll show you a comparison. Here's the old. Hey guys, this is Jimmy here. Welcome back to another Apex Legends reaction video. And now here, of course, is the new.
Hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Welcome back to another Apex Legends reaction video. So you can see with that alone, this actual process is actually really good for fixing your audio. And of course you want to render this out. All you have to do is go to render. Then of course you just close back from only audio under your video. So we're going to say uh, H24. So you want to click that, you want to click on video and then you just render this out however you like. And then uh, you're all good to go. And of course all you have to do is click on browse, name it something, video. We'll call it just for the jokes. And then all you have to do is add the render queue and then render it on out but that is of course how you fix your audio if you have bad background noise if you guys did find this video helpful make sure to smash the like button and then get subscribed because we're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers now before the end of the year we're like so close and honestly it's insane because we recently hit 1,000 subscribers so very much appreciated and i'll see you guys for another tech video tech grant out